Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for being here on time. I truly appreciate it. So good evening, Erica. How are you? Will you be uh, participating tonight? Yes. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. All right. Hello, Carla. Thank you for joining the class. I know you said that you're going to be just listening, right? Yes. Hello. Hello, good evening. So thank you. Thank you for the effort. Truly really appreciate it. Thank you. All right, no problem. So we're going just to wait for a couple of you guys um, that actually joined the class so we can start right now with the first activity. All right. So I can see Lucy is joining the class right now. Great. Mm. Very good. There you go, there you go. Lucy, also Nelson, all right. So good evening, Lucy. Good evening, Nelson. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Excellent. So thank you for joining the class. How was your day, Nelson? Was a little easy, teacher. Thank you for asking. Busy. All right, yes. you're very welcome. Thank you, teacher. All right. All right. So, what about yours, Lucy? How was your day? It's like mute. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. Just one more minute here. Great, excellent. So let's see who else is here so we can continue. All right. So let's see. Oh, Adriana is also here in Holman. Hello, Holman. Good evening. Hello, Adriana. Good evening. Hi there. All right, excellent. So, well, eh, everybody, we are going to like start right now as every night with one of my favorite activities, which is for you to like start practicing the pronunciation, all right? Eh, yesterday, we had one of the first songs that we eh, were practicing, you know, as a tongue twister. Don't worry, we are not going to sing. It's just like this specific part of the um, song that I want you to like actually read it so we can actually develop our fluency right in uh, having a nice pronunciation here all right so let's say this one this one is very easy right it says here it says here um hey everybody everybody's got a written that will make you want a movie like they do at south beach gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face push the weight like merengue in the streets yes it is a song yes it says merengue and yes this is going to be our first exercise tonight let me just um repeat it again so it'll be like Perhaps you can be repeating after me, everybody. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a written. Mm -hmm. Let me hear you. Hello. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a written. That will make you want to move it like they do with South Beach. Mm hmm. Oh my goodness, it's like everybody's on silence then, huh? Who else is here? Jamie, Lucy, Isela, Vanessa. All right, so let's see. Let's just go ahead and practice this one. Remember, it's just like for you to improve your fluency. Let's see what it says. Okay, that's okay. Um, Isela, no problem. So we already checked that, so no problems, all right? Okay, so I'll give you right now just uh, two minutes so you can actually practice this one. Remember, it's a tongue twister. It's actually, uh, you know, was took from a song so you can actually practice it. And remember, 
it's about pronouncing the words correctly. Let me repeat it back for you again so we can check this out. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want a movie like they do with South Beach. Gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face pushed the waist like merengue in the streets. I want to hear you like practicing people right now, so go ahead and practice. Then I will select some volunteers. All right, so come on, practice people, practice. So remember two minutes. I'm going to set my timer here, so it's going to be exactly two minutes So for practicing. Can you repeat the pronunciation of re re written? Re this one right here. Uh -huh. Written. Written. Re two, two minutes, all right? Written. Repeat it. Written. 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 There you go. Excellent. Mm -hmm. You still have some um, time to practice. Mm -hmm. One minute and 20 seconds more to practice. Continue. Hello, hello. One minute, exactly one minute to practice. There, there you go. Mm -hmm. So I hope you're practicing people because I'm going to start like the pronunciation, of course, no problem. So it will be like, Hey, everybody, everybody's got a written that will make you want to move it like they do at South Beach. Gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face, push the waist like merengue in the streets. So there you go. Okay, it's almost time. Thank Teacher, you. it is just like merengue. Huh? It's merengue. Merengue, like merengue, like merengue, like the written. <laughs> okay. Oh, volunteer, thank you. Appreciate it. Come on. <laughs> Well, you okay. didn't that much yesterday, so you own us one. I was driving, I was driving, teacher. Imagine the traffic scenes lower the to along. Oh, my God. Very difficult, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. It says, hey, everybody, every, everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do in South Beach. Gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face push, push the waist like merengue in the streets. All right, awesome. That was a piece of cake, yes or no, lady? Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, excellent. So please select the next person. Okay, the next person gonna be my goodness. Um <clears throat> Nelson in Rodas. Okay, excellent, Nelson. Hey, everybody, everybody, put the with me. That will make you want to move it like they doing so good. Got to watch the women when you see their bodies beating with the face push the waist like merengue in the streets. Like merengue in the streets. All right, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job. You did it wonderfully. So now please tell me, uh, who's the next person? Hello. Maybe Jamie. Okay, Jamie, are you there? Hi, teacher. Do you call me? Ronnie. Go ahead, please. I'm Lucy. Oh, Lucy. Sorry, Lucy. Ready? 
Okay. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like, the, like they do in South Beach. Go to watch the women when you see their body spinning with the face put push the waist like merengue in the streets. All right, excellent. Thank you very much, right? That's actually super nice. Easy, easy. Thank you. Uh, who's the next person? Hello, hello. Hello, Lucy. Who's the next one? Uh, Jamie. Jamie, all right, Jamie. Hi, I have to read in singing. <laughs> I, yes, you have to read it, correct. Hi, everybody, everybody's got a rhythm that would make you want to move it like they do in South Beach. <laughs> uh, gonna, watch, gonna watch the woman when you see their body spinning with the face, with the waist, like merengue in the street. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Hey, you were singing, so you know the song, right? Oh, no, no, no. No, but you can you kind of got the the same written uh, uh from the original song. But thank you, thank you very much. You were actually doing a very good job. So now, please tell me who's going to be the next person. The next person. Yes, we have more options there. The only option you cannot choose is Carla because she is not participating. But then everybody else, yes. Okay. Uh... Jolman. Very good. The choice. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, let me <clears throat> so, hey, everybody, everybody got that reading. That will make you want to move it like they do is some beach. Gonna watch the women when you see your body sipping with the it's face. Huh? With the <clears throat> with the face. I no. Yes. With the face push. I I can I can see very well. Why? Uh, I don't know. Uh, push. Hmm? Push. He. Uh, I can. I can. I can see the push. The waist. <clears throat> With the face pushy. Waist. Light. Bring it. The feet. <laughs> right so very good you did it good actually right so don't worry uh that's actually nice so i guess we have um let's see if we have somebody else yeah we have more people now in the in the class right so we have samantha all right we have vanessa uh, jamie well Hector. we have Hector now did, did, did adriana participate i guess she didn't so we still have two options mm -hmm. Who's the next one, Hector or Adriana? Who's the next one, gentlemen? Uh, please. Um, Hector, Hector or Adriana? Hector. Hector, thank you. Hello, Hector. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everyone. Ready? Go ahead. Teacher, um, I just connect uh, and I can't see nothing. Only let's okay. cooperative share uh, the screen, but I can't see nothing. I can't see anything. Anything. <laughs> I can't see anything. Yes. What about now? Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Just read it, teacher. Go ahead. Okay. Yes, please. Hey, everybody. Everybody's got the written. 
a rhythm mm -hmm. that will make you want to move it like they do in South Beach. Gotta watch, gotta watch the woman when you see their body spinning with the face push the waist like a merengue in the street. Like merengue in the streets, exactly. Thank you very much, all right? So uh, thank you, Hector, that was a good one. Uh, I guess we're missing one. Adriana, it's your turn. Okay. Go ahead. Hey, everybody, everybody's got a rhythm that will make you want to move it like they do it in South Beach. Gotta watch the women when you see their body spinning with the, with the face pushed the waist like merengue in the streets. Awesome. So today was actually very easy, very, very, very easy, super easy, by the way. All right. So that's it. That's it. Okay, thank you everybody for participating. I truly appreciate that one. So we are going to actually um continue here with um the lesson for tonight, all right, which is you know something that we have been discussing for a couple of days already. All right, so in it is actually here. You will see it. One second. There you go. Let me know when you can see the new screen. There should be. Do you see it? Yes. All right. Excellent. So during these uh, previous days, we have been actually talking about like, you know, millennials and the difference between the generations and how this is affecting uh, your perhaps performances in the in the companies and what are the advantages and disadvantages of having millennials working in uh, the, you know, the companies or in the workplace, right? So, but tonight we are going to like following the same um, topics, right? So we're going to go to talk about, we're going to uh, talk about the generational gap, all right? So we mentioned that term a couple of classes ago, but we didn't actually went into this uh, with details, right? So can someone remember or tell me what is the, generational gap what is a gap do you remember that hmm? brecha <laughs> una brecha exactly so a space so we were saying that last time all right so uh, there are some differences that we might uh, face between uh you know like the companies right so this is what we're going to be talking about like uh, tonight so let's see those are the uh, objectives that we're going to be working on. So can you please help me? Who can help me to read the number one? So it's time for you to practice people. So please give me a hand and help me with number one. Number one, volunteer for number one. Me, teacher. Awesome, Vanessa, please go ahead. The learner will be able to identify and gain a better understanding of the different generational group and their characteristics. That was amazing. Can you please select the next person, Vanessa? Um, Hector Francisco. All right, Hector, go ahead and have me with the second one, please. Okay. The learner will improve in co communication and teamwork by understanding the difference among generation. Thank you very much. Good job as well. All right. So who's the next, who's the next one for the last one, Hector? Uh, I don't know who is uh, Ruth, I think. I guess, I don't know if Isela is already at home. She said that she was on her way. Um, Isela, are you already at home or not yet? All right, not yet, a different person. All right. Um, Erica is available in case you have forgotten about her. She's there and she's willing to participate as many times as you guys choose her. I'm here, teacher, sorry. No problem. I'm having, I'm having my dinner. Sorry, sorry. All right. Can you help us with the last one? Yeah, yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> okay, it says the learner will learn how to uh, leverage. Leverage? Correct. Right. Leverage. Okay, leverage the benefits of generation gaps at work 
provide tips and suggestions for overcoming generational generational differences. Generational differences. Thank you very much, which is basically what we're going to be talking about. Thank you to the three guys who were able to uh, help me with this one. So now let's just talk about like something else, right? Now take a look to the image that you are about to see right now. That one, exactly, right? So do you think that there is a generational gap in that image? Of course, right? Of so course. why would you say that, for example, Hector? So why would you say there is a big difference? Of course, the age, but what about like the actions that they are doing at the moment? Mm, the difference, teacher. Yeah. I think the difference is the sense. Sentido is a sense, teacher. Sense, correct. Sense. Um, the the um, young boy or girls, I don't know, <laughs> and he use a different sense uh, compared the maybe his his dad. His dad uh, read a, a book mm -hmm. and different using different different. Uh, Movement. Movements. Uh, movement. Movement. The young, the young generation is, is very simple, but uh, he receive a lot information and how say uh, stimula como stimulus? Uh, Stimulates. Uh -huh. Stimulate is different. Uh -huh. uh, maybe maybe his brain is very quickly, but very um, burned. No. What is different with being born, Naseri born Kemal? Uh, it's the letter O. Born, it's like about Naser, B O R N. And then born, it's like with you, like Kemal. But the pronunciation is very similar, yes. Oh, okay. And and his dad maybe have a, a the, the brain is a, have a lot of connection, uh, maybe. The the intelligent uh, smart is similar, uh, but uh, the parent have a more information, and the young young boys I don't know the boy, mm -hmm. <laughs> the connection is very different. I think teacher. Yeah, you know you actually gain many points out of a simple image, right? Something that we can also um point from this image it's uh like the way that perhaps they are doing the same activity in a different way so the old person there actually prefers to read a book because they like to like you know touch the book move the pages right etc and perhaps the young guy is just reading you know and scrolling up and down on the ipad or perhaps he's not even reading his listening to a song to the same story but you know in a different way because sometimes um it's easier to find a video on youtube or in any other platform that is telling us what is a book about right so we don't have to read the book we just have to watch the video for example right thank you for sharing your thoughts regarding this image all right we are going to now go and try to give a definition of what is this, all right? I need a volunteer for helping me with this definition. Uh -huh. Who's my volunteer now? Please tell me. Hello, hello. Just one person, please. Me. Thank you, Holman. Oh, Holman, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Holman. <laughs> okay. Uh... A generation gap or generational gap is a difference of opinions between one generation and another regarding mm -hmm. belief, beliefs, 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 or uh -huh. values. No, or it's values. belief. Uh -huh. Beliefs or values in today's is is generation gap often refers to a perceived 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 gap mm -hmm. between younger people and their parents and 
or grandparents. Right. That's actually correct. All right. Thank you very much for helping us with this one. All right. So a uh, generation gap or generation or generational gap is a difference of opinions, right? Between one generation and another one. So as you can see it here, all right. So for example, what was that? Oops. So for example, this one that you can see right here, what it says just like a which is a difference opinions between one generation and another all right this is actually like what that means opinions and difference right so you might have a difference way to do the things all right or you might have all the things there all right and that's actually what happens right so when people have different opinions what the people said it's like uh it's because you're too old or it's because you're too young right so uh, I don't know, people, if you have had that inconvenience in your jobs or perhaps at home, right? So what, for example, your grandparents or somebody older than you tell you that, no, that's not the way you do it. That's actually the way you're supposed to do it. Or when I was younger, things were different. Also, I have heard comments like the weather was before when I was younger or, um, you know, like, Coca-Cola tasted better when I was younger, whatever thing, right? So, or like the music of this generation, it's not good, right? You know, and all those type of things that we know there is a difference on the opinion, right? So let's say this one right here. And then we have talked about this one before, which is you already know the generation. So which is just like um, the traditionalist, which that could be like our grandparents, baby boomers, son of her parents or somebody older, a generation X, that, that would be, um, you know, son of us, uh, millennials, the majority of us, right? So, and the generation Z, which is the latest one. So the kids basically, right? So we know that one. So we already went through this one, all right? But you know what? Now that I can see those dates here, I'm going to take the time to ask some of you to read the years, the numbers, to see if you are good with the numbers. Let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see somebody who's this one. Uh, Nelson. Nelson, can you do me a favor? Can you read this years? Can you? Read the years, please. 1922, 1942. Very good job, excellent. Joel Man, help me with the next couple of years here. <clears throat> baby, baby boomers. Correct. Um, 1943, 1960. 60. 60. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you. Hector, Generation X. Oh, the microphone, Hector. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> 19, 1961, 90, uh, 80. 1980. Very good. Excellent. And the last one that will be for... Let's see for you. Um, JV, are you there? Not there. All right. The last years. Let's see how you read it. Millennials. Correct. 1981 to mm -hmm. 2000. 2000. And thank you very much. And how do you read this one, people? 2001. That is absolutely not right. right. Exactly, 2000, all right? So yes, let me tell you what happens right here with the dates. So for example, in all those years that you have right here before, well, actually it has to be this one right here. All those years that you have here. So in red, 
so they can be divided. So you can say, for example, 1922, 1943, 1961, all right? But when you come to like, for example, this one over on here, all right, so you cannot divide it. You have to say 2000, 2001, 2002, et cetera, et cetera, until you go to 2009. After 2009, for example, if you have here this one, then you can divide it. So you can say 2010, 2011, 2012, et cetera, right? But from 2000 to 2009, it will be like that. 2001, 2, 3, etc. Right? Is that clear? Yes. So, teacher, you can't say 2001, like Eric. That's not possible. Oh. Just between 2000 and 2009. After that or before that, no problem. So in, for example, 1,901, you can say 1901. So you're talking about 1,901, which is going to be this one, right? You can is say 1901. No, same situation, all right? So because you need to have like two digits, right? two body digits, like a number, two numbers of two digits. That's basically the whole thing here. And here, yeah, you have this one, which is 19, but this one, you only have one digit. So you can say, for example, mm -hmm. from 19, 10, and so on, you can continue. 19, 10, 19, 11, 19, 12, et cetera, right? But you need to have like two digits numbers here so you can divide it. Is that clear now? But in which case you can use O? That is when you are providing phone numbers, mostly. You know, like, for example, if you're going to say, so what's your phone number? Oh, my phone number is 795. In these examples, I've heard this. Oh. I'm sorry? What was that? Yeah, I I have heard about, oh, but I don't, I didn't remember in which case you can use it. Oh, I see. No, don't worry. So you can definitely say the letter, I mean, the number zero um, as a letter O, right? But it's most commonly used in phone numbers. Like, for example, you can say my phone number is 705 109. All right. So it's 7080, for example. So in those cases, it's perfectly common. Okay. Thank you. Sure. You're welcome. All right. Awesome. So let's see here. It's the next one here. Okay, so the next one is just telling us the timelines, all right? And this is actually something that we can um also learn here. Let me see. Okay, here it should go. What happened? Oops, it's still loading there. Okay, let me go to this one. Okay, fine. We move it. All right, excellent. So, and those are like the average ages that, you know, people from those decades are going to be currently, right? So, for example, when you see um this the, um, structure like this, and you see here an apostrophe and a letter S, it means you're talking about the period of time. So, you don't read in these cases, you don't read 1920. 1930, 1940, mm -mm. you read the 20s, the 30s, the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, and the 2010s, all right, or the 10s again. So we're uh, start with this one. Is that clear? Yes. Yes. All right. So we focus on this one, which is like las décadas, right? In here, ya empezamos otra vez. We start again. From 10. So the 10s, we are currently, we are in the 20s again. All right. So good. So we can continue this one. And just for you to understand a little bit more about this one, you know, talking about the United States, of course, which is like the country that we're, uh, we're learning the language from. It will Wait, be... teacher, sorry. Can you put the last slide? Please? Oh, I cannot put it, but I can move it back. Can you show it? Can you show us, please? <laughs> 
Yeah, no problem. I was just trying to correct you. All right. How how do you say uh, the 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 two thousands? Thousands. Like that. Two thousands. This one just two thousands. Right. So and then from here we start again from tens. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So uh, this one, it's just like, you know, some information about like the amount of people who are currently living in the United States if from what generation uh, they belong to, all right? So the traditional is, is the lowest number because, you know, it's like the um, the older people, right? The oldest mm, people in, in the country. After that one, you go with the baby boomers and then you go with the millennials. So now the millennials is actually the biggest a uh, group of people currently living in the United States, right? Of course, because of the age. All right. So just to give an idea about like, you know, it will be anything like that. All right. So then we go on this one, the generation, like the first one from 19, uh, from well, 1901, 1921, right? Uh, back in the days, people didn't have like, you know, full education, right? They were just like, you know, learning from life. All right, they were very patriotic and loyal, hard workers, because like if you talk about your uh, grandparents or his parents, you know, your grandparents' parents, so your great-grandparents, um, they were actually um, like this one. Let's read the description they have. So this could be like the parents of your grandparents. So how do you say mis bisabuelos, people? Let's see if you remember that. Hello? Hmm. All right, the great grandparents. That's actually what happens right there. So those were the parents of your parents. So it says right here, um, this description, it's saying that this generation, they were hard workers. Would you agree with that? Yes or no? Hmm? Yes, no, no, yes. Hello, hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you with me, people? Yes, please. All right, excellent. So we were just like going through this one so we can go ahead and uh, review this one. So they said that like, for example, people from this generation, they never retired. They were working until they die. Would you agree with this? Yes or no? Think about like your grandparents, perhaps, right? So they were constantly working. They were busy. They like to be busy. All right, so like that. Um, they yeah. grew up without technology. I'm sorry, what were you saying? No, I I I I think I remember the the grandpa uh, on a rural son in in our country. Right, they are a farmer, but no farmer. Como se diría campesino? You can farmer. actually call farmers. Yes, and farmer. Uh huh. Farmer. Yeah. Uh, the farmer. Uh, the in this generation. Uh, work and the on the field in the fields, work. yes. On, on on the fields, every day, every day, uh, they have. I I have a picture in the house cafetal. Um, in the coffee plants, in the coffee plant, in the coffee plant. Uh, grand, yeah. but have a, a lot. Um, how say like a sharpe? I I'm sorry for the. Compare, have a lot um, arugas. Excuse me, what was the word you were saying? Eh, como arrugas, o sea, bien, bien, bien viejito, very, very elderly, oh. and work okay. every yeah. day with her, with his, uh, ¿cómo serían herramientas? Um, tools. Tools, with the tools, and the, this, uh, work uh, after you die this is real for for these people they they work hard every day and maybe not for for pay my thing is it's just his como se llamaría costumbre um, a custom uh -huh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i agree with this with these uh, sentences no retirement all right Work to exactly. die. Yeah, definitely. Me too, right? I saw my grandparents doing the same as well. 
they uh, they grew up without technology. I guess like the most they could see was the television, right? So they saw the television from black and white to colors and from big televisions to flat screens, all right? So that's like the most they actually saw. But then I, they were not familiar with technology like cell phones, computers, or internet. They didn't actually like that. Um, they are team players, so they like to socialize a lot. They are very sociable, all right? If not, think about, for example, your grandparents. They normally have a group of uh, old people like talking, going to church. They're doing activities for like old people, etc. right? And then where it's strongly loyalty, you know, and they are assertive, energetic. Like think about your grandmothers. Normally your grandmothers are super energetic. They like dancing. They are very happy all the time, etc. right? And uh, use it up, make it do, and or do without, all right? So like, you know, to keep working, basically. So let's just continue with the next one right here. And this is this one, comparing to the last generation. What is going to be like the predictions? The last slide, this one was telling us how our grandparents were in the past. But this one, oops, this one, it's telling us how the new generation or the future generation is going to be. So that's why it says predictions. I will read it, all right? And then you tell me if you agree with that one. They said that in the future, these people is going to be less focused. Would you agree with that one, people? Yes, totally. <laughs> oh my God, that was an immediate answer. Why would you say that, Vanessa? Yeah, because you can talk with these people and they didn't pay attention on you or or the tasks that they have to do or you ask for something and they didn't, didn't pay attention. Exactly. You actually are correct. All right. So then they will be better multitaskers, of course, because they can do many things at the same time. Would you agree with this one? That they can do many things at the same time. So teacher is better multi or mullet. Yeah, I there is a mistake and I do apologize for that. Thank you for the observation. <laughs> yeah, but actually they are multi multitasker, my little sister. By the way. Yeah, they like can do that. a lot of things, right? <laughs> yes, at the same time, yeah, yeah. Right, of course. Do you consider yourself to be a multitasker also? Yeah, kind of. Actually, at the work, I'm talking with a customer, I'm doing the payment and checking another order, for example. All right. And sometimes drinking coffee as well. Yes. <laughs> yes. I know. All right. So then uh, they are full of early starters. All right. So what is an early starter? Let's see if you remember. Have you ever heard the expression? What is an early starter? Mm -hmm. Do you know it? Uh huh. What is it? I don't know. I don't know. You don't know that one? No, teacher. Okay, that's actually what it says. Like comienzos tempranos. You would want to say like that one. Like what? For example, uh, think about you. For example, Nelson, how old were you when you got your first phone? The first cell phone. Mm, maybe twenty. You were 20, all right, when you got your first phone. Okay, I was 12 when I got my first phone. But my daughter, she's going to be uh, like, perhaps she will be born and then she will get a cell phone with her, all right? So, or like, for example, uh, who have children here? Do you have children? People? Not the chair. Okay, no problem. So, but yeah. well, in, in the future, I'm sorry. I have a son, teacher. Oh, okay, okay. So, and how old was your son when he first received a cell phone? He he just you use a tablet, but. Uh, the school 
All right. And, and so, but it was actually very young when he actually started using it. Yes or no? Yes. He is nine years. Nine years old. All right. So you see, this is actually what it means. So that they are they start doing things earlier than we did, for example. All right. So getting into the computers, uh, using apps, et cetera, et cetera, right? Thank you. All right. So this one, how do you pronounce this word? Mm -hmm. Entrepreneurial. Entrepreneurial. Okay, let's see. Entrepreneurial. Ante, entrepreneurial. Let's listen to this one. Charlie, Charlie, are you around? Entrepreneurial. Entre. Do you hear that? Entrepreneurial. 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 Sorry. Entrepreneurial. Do you hear it? Entrepreneurial. And what is it, people? Mm -hmm. Oh, do you know it? Yes or no? So please tell me so I can tell you. In the Spanish? Of course. Or can you explain it in and how would you explain that into English? In English, sorry. The person who builds his own company. Yeah, that's actually, mm -hmm. that's actually correct. Thank you very much. And that's true, right? Mm -hmm. So nowadays, more people want to have their own business. If not, look at how many uh, little business we have on Facebook that they are selling many kind of products, right? Like clothing, shoes, cell phone cases, etc. right? So, and they prefer to work on those things that go into a workplace, for example, right? Uh, they say that they will have a lot of high expectations, right? They will be individually and they are gonna be more global. So, because right now it's easy, like imagine playing video games. You can perfectly be playing a video game with someone from a country, you know, on the other side of the world, right? So you can be working with that, playing with a Chinese person, an Asian person, someone in Europe, etc. right? So, which is it's easier to connect to people now, right? So, would you agree with all those um, predictions for the new generation? Or just some of them? Well, all right, excellent. So let's see. Now, um, let's talk about the generations in the workplace. Look at the picture there. So I can identify maybe three or four generations in that picture. Do you think that they work alone together or they get along? All right, so, or, or they have difficulties to work with each other. Mm -hmm. I think you can adapt to work with all generations. It's with possible. Generations. Mm -hmm. All right. Have you ever had any issues with um, someone older than you or so may, perhaps someone younger than you? because of a difference in opinions or procedures? Every teacher, day, every time, every uh -huh. second. I oh think it's normal, teacher, to have some difference with the people. It doesn't matter if it's the same age of you or are or older or younger than you. So okay. only so you was... have to, to, to try to fix it and, and handle the situation. All right. It's my understanding that you're saying that you can also have differences with people from your own generation. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. I couldn't agree more with this one. All right. So let's say this one right here. All right. So now the next one is here. Oh, my goodness. Computer. There you go. Okay, take a look. Look at this picture, people. All right, so we are going to like share this one. I want you to please share with me uh, the answer for the question we can see on the screen right now. What makes one generation different from another, in your opinion? All right, so you can actually share life experiences if you have had. All right, I need someone who help me to answer this question. What makes one generation different from another? Can you tell me that?
The attitude. Hello? The attitude. Why would you say that, Nelson? I don't know. Maybe you are a positive person mm -hmm. and I may be fun and, health, and healthy. All right. Excellent. Maybe so, like that. I don't know. Cool being so you're saying attitude, thank you. What else, people? What makes one generation different from another? Uh, the, the technology. Technology, oh, okay. Why would you say that, for example? Um I think the the way to to do the 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 the, the different uh homework society assignments um the the way to to understand the different things in in the in the school in the job in the life I think the 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 internet and the technology uh have um uh, a lot of influence in the in the generation i think is the in the internet and technology mm -hmm. are too different the, the 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 system and the the way to 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 understand and see different things in, in your life. All right. Yeah, it's true. Actually, like uh, as well, like the way that you actually use the technology um, when you are um, doing different activities. Also for having fun, you use technology in different ways. For example, people like your grandparents, they prefer to listen to the radio or to watch TV. You, for example, Holman, being young, you can go to your cell phone or play videos on YouTube if you want to listen to music. That's a big difference as well. And thank you for bringing in technology to, onto the table, all right? Thank you. Anybody else who wants to help me? What makes one generation different from another? Teacher. Tell me. I think uh, I try put my idea. <laughs> uh -huh. Explain what is it? Idea. The first, the first step for the technology for me is uh, grow to get crops. Crops is a cultivo, verdad? Crops. If you if you have a lot full, maybe your uh, ideas may be different. Not think only in what what I eat this day. And the first step is uh, in the technology is uh, make turn better the food. If you have a food, you can uh, use your energy for energize. I don't know for um, do different. Maybe uh, write a song. Uh, use uh, your energy for cómo sería para el arte. Para el arte. Uh -huh. for the art, for, for, for the art, art. Uh -huh. for the art, and you, you can use your energy not only for get food, and the next step is uh, use this energy for the uh, make different technology. Maybe uh, you can find um, the way for solve, como sería health para mejorar la to salud. improve health. Be to improve, improve health. health to improve health uh -huh. to improve health and the, the, gener the generation uh, have a different point of view of life because have a food in her stomach and maybe have a um, the basic como sería la basic um, I lost I lost the idea mm -hmm. But the generation is different. They have a different, uh, different thing, different stuff, <laughs> because have a, a more food in the stomach, and can and they can think different way for 
for solve different problems. The problem is di is are different in the present and compare in the the past, I think. Okay, yeah. Well, I agree with you, right? So especially because now with the new technology, I mean, I don't want to say technology, but with the new products that people use, right? So when you are like, um, you know, preparing the food or or like, you know, planting, etc., right? So it's just like um, more chemicals added to everything we we eat right so yeah you actually are also right with this one thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you all right so you did it wonderfully here thank you for sharing those ideas so now let's see this one all right uh, let's just make a pause right here and take a look to this one so the video games are back uh, from 1970, sorry, 1967. Let's talk about video games. Do you like playing video games, people? Yes or no? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, of course. So what's your favorite console? I want to hear you. When I was younger, my, face was, my, my first console was the GameCube. The GameCube, all right. So I'm a little bit older than that. I'm from Nintendo 64. Okay. Actually, I have it, but a little bit later. Oh, really? Now it's like, uh, la la now it's like um, for just for collection. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. So. All right. Uh, did you play any other console like Super Nintendo, for example? I remember the Game Boy and Nintendo. I don't remember the name, but the Nintendo. I... It was a mobile console. It was like a little square, like a phone you can open. I don't remember. Now they get. It was the Game Boy Advance, or I guess. Ah, yeah, yeah, the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, yes. Yes. Right. So you know what I I was when now that you mentioned the Game Boy, um, I played my first Game Boy was black and I'm black and, and white, you know, or like with no colors. I would say. Ah, uh, okay. So, yeah, and then when I got the Game Boy Color, which is the one that you can see around here, oops, this one right here, this one, the pink one. Can you see that? Yes. All right, so yeah, that's like, you know, I was like in shock because I was able to play the same games or the same video games with more. Oh, this is the one I had. Take a look. The one here that had no color. It had a green screen and everything was black inside. The first Game Boy. And then this is yours. What about the rest, people? Did you actually have any, um, any of those consoles? Or not? You don't like video games. Hello? For a lost friend, teacher, the best option is uh -huh. the GameCube uh, with the Mario, Mario cars. <laughs> when, oh, you, Mario cars. when you use a banana for a slide ah, <laughs> and, and, and lost. No, GameCube. Oh no no no! I was just pointing that. Aha, uh -huh. GameCube, this one. The GameCube. I'm not. I don't know if the another another console use Mario Bros. I don't know, but the, for Lost Friend, it's the best option. You're <laughs> right. the biggest, so, the that's actually nice. You know what I like from um a GameCube? It's also the Mario Party games. Mario that's Kart. Actually good. Mario Kart, Mario Kart is true. <laughs> hey, Holman, thank you for joining the conversation. What's your favorite console? Do you play video games? Uh, yes, but I am I am not a gamer. <laughs> oh, okay. But yes. do you have any console? Uh, yes. No, 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 no. I uh, uh, now, right now. Not uh, currently. All now, right. but I, I have... When I was uh, 
ปัจจัยไปห้างอ่าอ่าอ่าน i n t e n d o ซิกิสต a ฟอร์อืมแอนด์ดัดดัดวัสมาไอมาไอมาไอไอไอฟังเซอร์ไอดอนรีเมมเบอร์ฮาวแคนไอเซนไม่ใช่หูใช่หูอ่าดัดวัสมาไอใช่หูแอนด์อ่าไอไอไอไอทุกวันอ่า sometimes I I play that uh those those games when when I when I was uh, a child I I I played uh, in the Nintendo 64 and I uh, in sometimes I play uh, those games in my cell phone yeah those were actually very good games right so absolutely absolutely right so thank you thank you for sharing that so you see how also the video games have changed because like for example if you ask me about it i will go with those ones that i mentioned before my favorite and the one i had here it was this one the nintendo 64 all right that's the one i had yeah i did have this one as well and my first one that was this one Uh, but then I I haven't played with any other console, right? So I haven't used any of them. So now let's see. Let's just move on here so we can actually see this one. And uh, let's see this one. All right. So now let's just talk about business right here. So we can we have been talking about the background, but now let's just talk about what it matters, right? What this means in our workplace. All right. Can someone help me, please, with the number one, number one, number one, number one? Volunteer for reading this one. Nature. Go ahead, Vanessa. When groups have the same values and attitudes, communication and other dynamics typically go, go smoother. Smoother, right? Smoother, so, like the easier, right? So. Like that. So when groups have the same values and attitudes, communication and other dynamics typically go smoother, which it means like it's easier and it's better when you have people who have the same values and attitudes, right? So you are going to agree with the same ideas. You are going to express similar opinions and, you know, it's going to be easier to, to move forward, right? Because you also have the same way of working. Very good. Volunteer for the second one. Who is it? Hello. Oh, tonight you have been very shy, Adriana. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just because of this, you're going to read two. Okay. <laughs> And the second part, right? Yes, please. Okay. When there are multiple groups in each group brings to your own style, values, and not attitudes, This mm -hmm. could create tension and other issues if not paying attention. All right, continue with the next one. Okay, generation gaps at work means more work is needed to cultivate an environment that respects each generation's perspective and way of life. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So good job. And who can help me with the last one here? Uh, Isela, are you already at home? Jamie, are you there? Lucy, Samantha, Fatima, who can help me? Me, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. I appreciate it. Go ahead, please. This also means the manager has to be absorbent and knowledgeable of knowledgeable great associate knowledgeable of great. the various traits associated with each generation all right great excellent thank you very much this example just remind me here um and i don't know um oh who was it let me see um 
Erica, I don't know if, if you will mind. I, I'm asking you because you mentioned this a couple of classes ago. All right. So you work with people <laughs> from different ages. And I remember you said you, you, yes, yes. you send different emails, <laughs> etc. And I, I would like you to please um, perhaps tell us again if you might agree with what you can see on the screen and, and how does it work in your reality again, please. I didn't I didn't hear you the house. Can, can you repeat it, please? Of course, no problem. I was just wondering if you can tell us again how is to work with people from different generations and if you agree or disagree where with what you can see on the screen now. Oh, okay. Actually is yeah, so you, is when you have 48 person it uh, work for you working with you it's a little bit difficult but actually it is if their attitude their attitudes and the values they feel more than others or they feel less they have more experience and so you're wrong and i'm right and that kind of things it, actually for me it is true <laughs> it is true all right it, what are the like how do you handle these differences in ages with like between your your team or among your team? Sorry. Actually, I don't remember who told me that, but I put them to work together, and uh -huh. the same in the same client or even in the same customer if it is a person. I put them to work together, and they they have to be um. What's it? Is it? Um. Ah, uh, uh, just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the work. I'm sorry. What what's they what work looking for? They have to work together. They they have to be a couple a, a couple to work good. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> All right, great, excellent. So they have to work either they either they want it or not, right? So that's actually what happens. Thank you very much, uh, for sharing that one. Oops, I just cancel this one let me just hear it again and this is what i was just doing here all right so like that one so take a look at this one the challenges in our four generations workforce provide challenges currently there are four uh, workforce i mean four generations that are part of the workforce right the seniors uh the baby boomers the gen x and the gen y or millennials right which are the younger so they prefer like to write me when it says like write me perhaps since nowadays an email call me baby boomers love calls all right if not correct me if i'm wrong but your parents prefer to call you than text you all right so or email me which is like the gen x all right or text me, which is easier for all of us right here so you prefer texting i do um etc right and then you go on this one so let's see here Let's talk about now the effects on the workplace background. All right, let's see how does it work. And take a look at this one right here. Take a look to how different look, I mean, how different they look like, right? From each other. Because the first one, the guy in, you know, in black and white, Lee, I guess is if I'm not wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, because I guess it's like Lee Yakoka. All right, it was the business, uh, the businessman of uh, of the year, like the richest person back in the days. All right, so in DC, there we have also Mark Zuckerberg, which is actually another billionaire from the the current times. And look at how different they look. They both were the rich, uh, the richest person in the world at certain points. Look at how different this guy on the left looks like. You know, this one right here, look, with a suit, you know, very elegant, with a tie, and, you know, that's the idea of the businessman. And then on this side, we have this guy right here. He looks like he, he is going to the store while he is working at the home or he is at the home, right? So, but this is actually, you know, the richest person now. Uh, and it says right here, you know, T-shirts, jeans, flip-flops to go out. And of course, super important, a cell phone because technology has changed a lot. So this picture shows us the difference as well between the two 
generations and how change, the time has changed everything, in, not only in uh, technology or opinions, but also in the, where, the way that work actually um, is now, all right? And I wanted to see this one right here. So we have here different areas, and then we go and compare, actually compare them and see what happens right here, all right? So let's see here. Um, well, we have the boomers, the Gen X, the millennials, the trucks, or like the really old, um, you know, generation like your grandparents, all right? So, and it's this one right here, the job strengths, all right? So they prefer stable jobs, all right? Or they prefer server or oriented team players. They are adaptable and techno liberate, and they are multitaskers and techno savvy, which means like they know technology, right? Uh, let's just go for this one, uh, the Outlook. What is Outlook? Don't tell me it's an email because, yeah, it is, but it also has a meaning. What is Outlook, people? Do you know it? How you Outlook? look like? How you look like? Like your outfit, you mean? You look? Or how the people uh, got an idea about you? Mm, not really. This is actually more similar to perspective. The perspective they have mm -hmm. about life. So they are very practical. If it works, do it. If it doesn't work, don't do it. They are very optimistic, right? So all the time positive. Yes, you can do it, etc., etc. right? And, and if not, people take a look at this one because like sometimes our parents are like, yes, don't worry. You can do it. Try it again. So sometimes they motivate us, right? Or they are very motivated as well. Then the generation, the X generation, all right? So it's a skeptical. What is a skeptical? You know what is a skeptical, people? No? Hello? No, teacher. I don't know. A skeptical means a skeptical. Ah. <laughs> skeptical. 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 Are you a skeptical person? Sometimes it's good for the. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Why? No. Uh huh. Why not? I'm not as skeptical. A, a, a skeptical. <laughs> uh huh. Why not? That is the, the kind of person who is always on the mind, has a dude, right? Uh -huh, has a questions like they don't really trust on what somebody's telling. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I'm not. All right. So, okay, that's good. And then we have hopeful, which is like for millennials who are like, yeah, expecting for the best. All right. All the time. And so on. And those are the things that we can be like working on here. All right. And so we have this ones right here. Um, we have something here called tap, 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 which is this one right here. Oops, let me just delete that. All right. There you go, the tap. Tap means to the point, adapt and professional. That's what it means. So we can actually work together. So uh, let's see, can someone help me with this one right here, reading this? To, to the point, what is it? Can you help me reading people? Hmm? Oh, come on, just help me read a line, please. Teacher, me? Yes. Uh, to ahead. the point, to the point, make your communication brief and su succinct. 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 What is succinct, people? I don't know. <laughs> All right. What is succinct? Mm -hmm. Maybe a resume, a uh, short. Uh, correct. Use, correct. Uh, correct. Correct. Short. 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 That's the best translation for that one. Thank you very much. What about this one? Uh huh. Adapt. Volunteer for adapt. Adapt. Thank you. <clears throat> change the method of communication for your audience audience exactly all right so thank you very much for your audience 
So uh, as I was listening to some recommendations before, right? So you need to adapt your way of communicate to them according to the way they are. So it's going to be easier for them and they are going to be taken into account and consideration, right? And the last one, professional, all right? What is it? Read it, please. You want to try it again, Holman? Professional when in dub, dub, dot, uh huh, dub communicate professionally. Professionally, yes, exactly, exactly, exactly. So then you go on this one, all right. Uh, then we have another one that is going to help us right here, which is this one, which is the word care. Care, 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 care. When it comes to communication, we need to care. Care about what? So we have more things here so we can read. So Joe, man, please help me to select the next person. Who is going to be the next person? I can, I can do a number. Ah. Uh, hmm? A number of the next person, number yes. The, number of the list, like uh, okay, seven. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ivan, are you there, Ivan? <laughs> Hello, Ivan. Ivan, Ivan, he is here, but he's not here. Anybody else? Vanessa, Samantha, Lucy, uh, Fatima, Adriana. Who can help me to read? Me, teacher. Thank you, Vanessa. Please start with collaborate. Remember that this collaborate, acknowledge, respect, and equal, it's actually the care um area that we're going to be working on. So let's see, what is collaborate? The first one. Okay, collaborate. Your team should be exposed to an environment where ideas are exchanged at, and at time challenged. Set ground rules in your meeting on how to handle this agreement. Encourage other points of view. Make sure all participants are involved be fair in your assessments and use up the two means to determine the best ideas. All right, excellent. So then, thank you very much. That's actually good. All right, so um, you collaborate, so you encourage other points of view. Remember that you need to be respectful, right? So listen to what other people think about that. And then if you disagree, express a disagreement. So maybe you can find, um, you know, a point where you can agree on those. All right, so then uh, you go with the next one, acknowledge. Who can help me with acknowledge, which is this one right here? Mm -hmm. Acknowledge. Me, teacher. Thank you, Samantha. Acknowledge. Teach your team to acknowledge each other value. In addition, teach them how to deliver the feedback. Do not assume they know how to do this. Remember that feedback is behavior based. Thank you very much, Samantha. You have a really nice pronunciation and fluency. Why do you, you don't participate very often? <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You should participate more, all right? Yes. Thank you. All right, so thank you. And what about respect, all right? Oh, I'm sorry. Before I move to respect, what is the word acknowledge? Acknowledge, acknowledge. What is it? Hello? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Acknowledge is a synonym of recognize. You know what is recognize? It's like conocer. It's... Reconocer. Very good. So teach your team to acknowledge each other value, right? So like, for example, I can say, if Joman gave me an idea, I would say like, Joman, thank you for the idea. That was a good idea. Right, so just by saying that one, so gentlemen, after listening to that, it will be like, oh, they recognize my idea. So thank you, you feel important in a company, right? So let's see, uh, respect, who can help me with respect? Respect, respect. 
Me, teacher. Thank you, Nelson. Please go ahead. Respect. Teach your team how to show respect to each other by using proper greetings and posture towards each other. Set the expectation that there are the only remarks about age are not led by anyone. All right, thank you very much on this one. So that was a good one. All right, so as I said before, you need to respect others' opinions so you can find um, a point, right? So you can agree with. Thank you. And what about equal, people? Equal, equal, the last one. What is it? Me, trainer. Thank you, Isela, go ahead. Equal. Hmm? Is your team that all members of the team are equal in value? and contribution you bring, age is not a factor. Okay, excellent, thank you very much. So you go on this one right here, and you did it correctly. So thank you guys for helping me with this one. So you did it wonderful here. So now we are going to be working on a different thing here. So it's your time for talking. I have been talking, talking, well, not only me, but we have been discussing certain points, right? But now it's your opportunity for sharing your own thoughts sharing what you know here all right and for that we are going to go here to the um let's say this one your book all right so which is going to be on this one right here one second all right so let's see here Okay, there you go, excellent. It's loading, I'm gonna share it in a moment. Okay, excellent. So now people, you are going to have um, here to answer, to answer certain questions here, all right? And let's just go on this one right here, which is about the generation, all right? So let's see, let me share this. So you can see it as well. There you go. Okay, excellent. So do you see that, people? Yes. Yes, 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 here. All right, excellent. So then we have some questions right here so that I wanted to practice with uh, some of your partners so we can work on this one. So the first question says, are your coworkers part of your generation? So the answer is very simple, yes or not, or you can extend your answer by saying like, well, the majority of my partners or my coworkers are from my generation, but there are also some people younger than me, or there are some other people older than me. And you can talk about the way you, you work, right? So we never have problems working, or there is one person who normally is like a pain in the neck, right? So because he's always angry or is always saying the things in a different way, et cetera. So you can express your uh, experiences there, all right? Number two, it says, it's management in your workplace. What is management, people? Let's see if you remember it. What is management? Hello, hello? What is management? Manejo. Manejo, exactly, right? So it's management in your workplace. Exercise mostly by people who belong to the X generation, all right, to the previous generation, or is also from the millennials, right? So you can actually say this one. So, or, you know, the question is asking here, like if the management, like for example, the bosses, boss, supervisor, managers, whatever, all the people in a higher position are from the X generation and the baby boomers, or do you see any millennial as part of that? So you can explain that one, right? And if not, you tell me why you think that's not happening. Number three, how easy is for you to interact with coworkers from other generation? Is it easy for you? Yes or not? Because to me, it will be very easy, all right? So uh, to get along with people, but it's perhaps because of my personality, right? But some people might be like really difficult to work with. Then you go with the last one, people. Do you consider that if two people belong to different generations, they are very likely to have conflicts due to differences in their values and beliefs. So do you think that there's gonna be a lot of differences and people are not going to, I um, mean, 
be able to agree with the ideas that other people might have? Those are the questions that you're going to be working with. So do you have questions about the questions, people? Or should we go right now to the breakout rooms? Hello? So no questions. Oh my God, people, tonight you're very shy, right? But don't worry, we're going to talk, 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 talk. Let's see. Guess what we... Oops. We can go. So let's see here. Okay, one second, preparing the rooms. All right, excellent. Sorry for the delay. I'm just opening the rooms right now, ladies and gentlemen. So please uh, go ahead and join the room so we can go and practice. I'm going to stop sharing the screen right here. And I'm going to send the, um, the image to the WhatsApp group so you can have it there. Okay, no worries. So let's see. There you go. The image is there. So please join the breakup rooms, people. Join the breakup rooms. Please, 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 please. Go ahead, go ahead. Thank you. Please join the breakup rooms. Hello, hello. Ivan, Fatima, Nelson, Lucy. Are you able to join the breakup rooms, guys? Lucy, you see, and Nelson, Nelson, hello, Nelson. Fatima, are you there? Okay, let's see. Okay, mm, people working in couples, amazing. So let's just go to number one. Okay, so let's see. Yes, um, I think in my, in my work, in my group, my work are different different areas, and in my area, uh, almost almost all all people are are millennials. No, oh, really. Yes, in the where in, do you work? In this in this area in this area ah, and, and... yes in the in the company are a lot of uh, different uh, oh, yeah. different generation but in my world uh, 
in my area um maybe uh you work um, on marketing or communications no 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 i work in uh in uh in uh i don't remember the word warehouse warehouse uh -huh, yeah okay I, I am in this in this area and we're in warehouse area yes okay yes. yeah it's common to hire millennials for this kind of jobs <laughs> yes 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 okay, okay. yeah in in my area I I think I am the only um, younger I think because my boss is baby boomer and my my co-workers are baby boomers. No, not 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 all of them, but but um, the majority of boss are baby boomers. So I think I am the younger on that. Yes, the uh yes, the there there is a lot of uh different <clears throat> different generation. But and I think <laughs> it's it's interesting to work with these people because you you learn a lot of things or 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 like things like culture or facts that are interesting that maybe you don't know. Yes, yes, yes. It is interesting. Okay. The next one it is is management in your work like exercise mostly by people who belong to the X generation. <laughs> Uh, let me uh, let me understand that question is yes she's the youngest girl in our team and it's a little bit funny because imagine she's the younger and the quality is the, the oldest uh, woman women in, in our team together they cannot work nothing because if she, if Larissa goes to her it, they start fighting just whatever topic fight just for her whatever thing if she goes to the quality they start fighting I don't know why I don't I I really don't know what is happening between them, but they, they always are fighting. Like fighting? Like like hitting each other? Arguing. Or arguing. <laughs> arguing. arguing. Yeah, because I was like, oh arguing. Like, arguing. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> 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 Continue okay. with the conversation. You're good. Okay. <laughs> Ariana, is management in your workplace exercised mostly by people who belong to the X generation or to the baby boomer generation? Mujeres. Oh. Sorry. I think teacher and the mm -hmm. boss, woman boss, is, is, is good to say woman boss. You can say female boss. Female boss. Female uh -huh. boss. Right. Female boss. Maybe it's, it's, it's a common find gener generation, Y generation. A mm -hmm. uh, female boss, but if a uh, general X 
and baby boomers is mm -hmm. very common to find uh, men, no, male, male boss. You're right. Mm -hmm. It's true, it's true. Like you're talking about like baby boomers, the, the majority of them use, uh, are men, right? In uh -huh. management positions. But nowadays, mm -hmm. with the new generations like uh, millennials, most of them are girls. Yes. That's this, true. I agree. This is my point. I agree with you. All right. Great. Awesome. Please, please continue with the conversation. Okay. Okay. Number three. Uh-huh. How easy is this for you to interact with co-workers from other generations? <laughs> In my case, it's, a, it's uh, maybe difficult for the point of view. Um, they, they solve the problem with another thing. Mm -hmm. Way, point is, is different. And I think uh, the problem solved solve uh, using a uh, different methodology 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 using me different methodology they my boss says no uh, 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 it's necessary to use a traditional way and I know have a different methodology for solve the problem. And I have, maybe have a different, um, this, uh, como se llama? not fine. No, es como discusiones, como serían discusiones. Argu arguments? Argument, uh huh. The argument is different. Okay. In my case, <laughs> depends. I am the only one the generation millennials, and I am more up to date with software, management, or technical support. But we help each other. Depends. <laughs> mm. So, so. Mm. No, 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 is easy. Interact with my co workers from the generations. Generations. X and I have three co workers, baby boomers. <laughs> <laughs> the difficult, <laughs> yes, depends, depends. Repeat, but we help each other. <laughs> <laughs> Bien. With the Excel, uh, you you can you can <laughs> you can uh, calculate with Excel, and they no, I have a I have a, a calculator. <laughs> <laughs> In the questions number four, mm -hmm. do you consider do you consider that if two people belong to different generations, they are very likely to have conflict due, due to difference, differences in their values and belief. Beliefs. Beliefs. Belief. 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 I think it's is most is most uh easy easier is uh -huh, easier exactly. easier it, it easier uh talk between generic 
a boomer gen a generation with a, a Y generation. Uh, I think because the baby boomers say, uh, no, they cannot uh, transform in my opposite and comp competence. No, no, podría, maybe not. Com turn competitor, a competitor. Competitor, uh -huh, competitor. All right. But, but if, if, if the baby boomer see a X, X generations, it's probably say, no, they, he is my competitor and maybe they, uh, um, uh, push me down, uh, outside of the company. Uh, Correct. And I think it's, 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 it's very easy talk between generations x generations uh, y generation and baby boomer is easier but if very close to generation uh i i i talk about the age very close is probably say no no i i i can i can solve with you because you you are a, i have a problem with with this with you yeah, it's true. That's true. It's true. Thank you. All right. So we're going to finish here the activity. So we are going to go back to the main uh, classroom. All right. So so we can um, continue with the class. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Everybody, welcome back from the activity. So we are going to see here what's going on. Okay. Let me share the screen. Here it is. All right, everybody else, welcome back from uh, the exercise. I hope you have participated. So I was just in some rooms listening to your conversations and you guys were doing a very good job, right? So uh, some of you, uh, you know, you were kind of sharing extra information, like kind of gossiping, but it was in English, so I cannot say anything else, All right? So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, people that you have been practicing those questions, I would like to hear some of you answering the questions in front of the whole class right here. So uh, question number one, are your co-workers part of your generation? Yes, no, why? Tell me more about it. Volunteer, please. Volunteer, volunteer. For question number one. Hello, hello. Question number one. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. Okay, volunteer gentlemen for question number one. Yes. All right, tell me, are your co-workers part of your generation? Um, in my in my uh, what in my in my job I um different different areas. Uh, but in my, my in my area, I think um uh, almost almost all people are millennials. But in the in the company are a, a lot of different generation. A lot of people, different generation, but in my in my area. Uh, almost all people are the same in, in the same generation. Oh, right. That's interesting. So do you think that that makes your job easier? Uh, I don't know. Or it's more complicated? I think it's, it's very personal. Uh, the... the the, the person 
different person. The person are, are talkative, are serious, are angry, are very, very worker. Uh, it depends. So it's very personal, I think. But I think it's the, 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 um, the older people are more, more, um, responsible. Mm -hmm. I think have more experience some, some, sometimes. And the millennials are like sometimes just uh see the 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 world like uh, a a play <laughs> a game <laughs> sometimes not not oh, okay yes, and the, the the older people are more serious and responsible I think not not always but sometimes I think. Sometimes, all right. So, like from different uh, departments or for different uh, generation. Uh the 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 two, the two, the, the two. Yes, yes. All it right. Depends right. Of the of the people, it depends on the situation, of the boss, of the manager. It depends if if you have a a manager like very serious and angry. I think the people is like uh very uh, serious to to avoid problems. But if your manager is uh, a little bit talkative, access access for uh, do jobs, I think the people is like uh. It's different. It depends on the different areas, the manager, the board, the workplace. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you, Holman. I congratulate you for sharing that answer. You have been doing a very good job. All right. So I really like how you were expressing yourself, trying to uh, go with the idea. And, um, you know, so it, it trying to like, saying this without using Spanish. That's what I was looking for. So you were doing a very good job, all right? So um, just to say something, right? So that, thank you, congratulations. And remember, Holman, to participate more, all right? So because you're super good, super, super good, and you just demonstrated in this answer, all right? So thank you. Uh, do we have any volunteer for the second question? Talking about the management. Hello, hello, hello. Hello. If not, Joelman, please choose the next person. Go ahead. Um, mm, Vanessa. Very good. Vanessa. Hello, Vanessa. Hello. Vanessa is like, oh my God. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> no, okay. okay, excellent. So tell me, Vanessa, it's management in your workplace exercised mostly by people who belong to the X generation or the baby boomer generation. Okay. In the company that I work, um, I think we have uh a one manager that mm -hmm. is baby boomer and the next year he is going to get retired i think this is the correct word retired yeah retired okay the next year he's going to be retired so and then the other the other manager like the general manager I think he is he is um from generation X. Then I think that this general man manager and financial manager. 
I think mm -hmm. financial both, manager, you said? Uh, fin yeah, financial manager. I think both are from X generation. Then also we have oh, another other another two managers. Mm -hmm. I think they are from they are from generation Y, I think. Then the other, the other boss from the other areas, I think it's between generation X and, and me that I'm millennials, I think. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, this, these generations are in my workplace. All right. Thank you very much. I truly appreciate your answer. That was actually a very good one. So, um, is it actually difficult to work with that type of people? You know, you were saying some comments, right? But in general, is it difficult to work with them? Or would you prefer to have a manager who belongs to the millennial generation? Yeah, for me, it doesn't matter, teacher. I think you can learn a lot from a person that is that belongs to generation x or or baby boomers but i think with millennials could be more could be more be more hard maybe harder and it harder. harder it could be hard harder so i think in my case i prefer to work with someone is older than me to in order to get a, a experience or uh, learn from from the experience from the people so i think it's very it's very interesting to talk with these kind of people that that have uh, more experience than you yeah i couldn't agree more with you because you can learn also from them I mean, you don't have to like agree with all of what they say, but you can get some ideas so you can implement in your yeah, job. Right? And you can decide if you apply or not. Exactly. They're so not. thank you for sharing that, Vanessa. Very good. Well, Vanessa, please give me a hand selecting the next person because if I a volunteer, I will have a silence for a long time here. Okay. Um, Ruth? Isela. Hello, Isela. Hello. All right, Isela, question number three is for you. So do you consider that if two people belong to different generations, excuse me, that's number four. Number three, how easy is it for you to interact with coworkers from other generations? Okay. <laughs> okay. In my case, I am the only millennials, but my colleagues or co-workers mm -hmm. talk about grandchildren or in children's. I adapt to the topics. I adapt to their topics and I have experience with children, but because of my nephews, <laughs> we oh, get really? along well. What? Hello? Yes. Yeah, I'll be saying, continue, continue. We get along, we'll ensure information on different topics. Uh -huh. and, and resume, respect, and understand. For right. my work, uh -huh. I have co workers from Generation X, the majority. Uh, two are baby boomers. Mm. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Okay, I see. Yeah, so before I was not uh, saying anything, I was just reacting to what you were saying. Like, that's why I say, oh, really? When you said that you are the only, um, the only one there. All right. So, but yeah, it's true, right? So it's just like, at the end, it's just like you had to learn how to deal with that. Right. So it has to be like that. 
And thank you. Thank you very much, Isela, for that one. And, and now I would like to listen to someone else. Isela, please choose the last one, please. Okay. Mm. Uh, Nelson Arroz. Nelson. Okay. All right, Nelson, tell me, do you consider that if two people belong to different generations, they are very likely to have conflicts due to differences in their values and belief? Why? Okay, in my opinion, I I think that is it, it depends on the relation relations between each, each other. But maybe it's a maybe if it is in a in a work, maybe I I think it depends. Because, if, for example, in my case, I there is there are a lot of people and there are a different generations. But the almost time I try to talk maybe about soccer, mm -hmm. or, or or maybe something about the the job. And yeah, right. the almost time, the almost time I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, sorry, I respect Nelson for interrupting. Excuse me for interrupting you. I, I have a question now that you mention soccer, right? So, do you think that the generations can have something in common to talk about? Perhaps soccer can be one of the things. Yes, I think. All right. So how how is um the conversation with people from a different generation when you talk about soccer? Is it the same to talk about soccer with people from a different generation or from your own generation? Or is it the same? It doesn't matter. It depends on the generation between each other. Because, for example, you are, if you are a baby boomer, and if you are talking with a uh, young ex or the youngers, the younger, the, the almost younger, they don't know about, uh, let me see, uh, Ronaldo, Ronaldinho. And also, let me think, the old soccer players. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you you can talk with them about all soccer players because they don't know maybe but if they are uh maybe gen gen x maybe maybe but if you are talking with teenagers they don't know nah, maybe teenagers, they, mm -hmm. the teenagers they don't know they know about uh, uh, messi and cristiano ronaldo mm -hmm. It's true, it's true, right? So you're absolutely right on that one. Yes. All right. So thank you, Nelson, for sharing that. That was actually a very interesting uh conversation regarding this one. And I don't know if perhaps anybody else wants to share their own opinion about any of the questions. Someone who wants to um contribute to the conversation, people. Hello. Someone else like Adriana, Fatima, Erica, Hector. Jamie, Vanessa, anybody else who wants to participate? Hello, hello? Yes, teacher. The last one. The last one. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about it. Like, like a toy like in the break room with, the, with Adriana that you heard. Mm -hmm. That we have the youngest girl for the last in... 2022, she get the degree from from high school, mm -hmm. and she is working with us right now. Actually, she is 18 years old, and one of my qualities is older. She is 44 years old. 
can always <laughs> in whatever topic, whatever what uh, the the agent needs or the representative needs. So or if the quality needs to check something about the order or about the situation with the customer or with the client, uh, it depends on what is she work for. And they always uh, are, are arguing. They are always arguing. Whatever really? thing, yes, uh -huh. whatever, whatever thing uh, they ask between them, they, they always argue. I actually, I don't know why, but if the agent tells to the quality, I need your help to do this, they just not do it like this, no, but it's very, no, do it like this, no, but it, do it. Oh my goodness, it's always, every day, actually today before, before lunch, we have a little big, arguing between them just some of the the clients uh, so you say is a reclamo complained uh, did, did I complain about some qualities that we, that we were changing from them so my goodness this was it it takes a lot of an hour and a half to complete that or to close that 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 the topic that arguing that arguments by the way because of them oh yes <laughs> so it's a little bit um stressful work with them together but i remember i told to my quality of course she's taller than me of course she has more experience than me but i remember like a week ago that i told her a uh, that you have been doing this for, if you have been doing this for 15 years, it doesn't mean that is correct, that is the correct way to do it. Uh -huh. That it means that you're just doing like that because you are uh, the, the custom to, to do that in that way. Yeah. And my goodness, she, go to, to, she goes to my, she went to my boss and Tell him that I was not doing the the thing like the politics says that I wants to change the politics and tra -da, tra -da. the politics and like, the, the politics and I was like I just told him that we can do it this in another way easier a little bit easier than than that way and that was a normal argument. <laughs> But All right. It's, All right. Thank it's you very much. For... But if you, when you tell it, it's funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I can imagine like being in the situation. So it would be like stressful to listen to them, um, you know, all the time arguing. But yeah, when you talk about that, it's funny, right? But during the process, it's just like, oh, please, here we go again, right? Cannot imagine that. All right. Excellent. Thank you, everybody, for sharing your answers, right? So you have been very good practicing today. At the beginning, you were kind of shy, but then with the time, you were able to speak more and more. So I thank you very much for participating. Just one observation right there at the end. So what's the difference between policy and politics? They both means politicas, all right? So but politics, it's about like politicas, like elections, you know? In policy, it's about like rules, let's say, or guidance that you need to follow in a company, all right? So like the ones Erica was talking, so that's going to be policies, all right? Is that clear? Okay, thank you. All right. You're very welcome. So guys, do you have any questions before I let you go? No? No question. All right, excellent. So, well, we are going to stop right here. I thank you very much for joining the class, being punctual, right? Remember, tomorrow we have classes again. So try to be on time, right? Try to participate more, all right? So, and continue practicing, doing your homework and all the activities you have been assigned to do or to complete all those tasks, all right? So thank you. Have a wonderful night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.